Please, for the love of God, stop using pre-commit hooks. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I know I'm frazzled about this one, but this is one of the few hills where I, I will confidently say I'm right and you're wrong. Specifically because you should not prescribe Git workflows to your developers until, and this is very strict, until they have pushed. The way that a developer uses Git on their machine is their problem. If you have opinions about how those commits should be formatted, you can run those on your server. If you have concerns that your lint rules aren't going to be honored, you can check those on your server. It is so easy to set up CI nowadays that if you are using Husky or a pre-commit hook tool instead of CI, you are being lazy and blocking your developer's productivity for contributions in the future. I agree you should enforce rules in your code basis. The commit is the worst place to do that. My personal workflow with Git involves a lot of commits. I regularly make commits because I'm trying something and I don't want to lose the changes I made already and I'll go through after and squash them or maybe I won't. And if you don't like how I'm using those commits and structuring things, you can complain in the pull request and I'll squash it then. But when I am working on my machine, you should not block me from using Git the way I want to use it. If the problem is that the tooling you're using at your company sucks, so CI is too hard, you don't bring a foot gun in, you don't make everything else worse, you get that problem fixed. Pre-commit hooks are the most over-prescribed solution to a problem that shouldn't exist that I know of in software tech. <sighs> Please know, if you're in a code base that uses pre-commit hooks, do your company the favor and turn them off. Quickly build a GitHub action, let that run your CI, and I promise you, everybody will be happier. Trust me on this one.